Hi, I'm Andrew Norton, Director of IID, and I'm delighted to be here to talk about IID's commitment to the principles for locally led adaptation. We see this as a critical initiative, one that will allow multiple organisations in all parts of the world to learn about the best ways to get money where it matters, but also to privilege the voices of the poorest and of those who are genuinely at the front lines of the climate crisis, those particularly in the least developed countries who've done least to create the problem, but are most exposed to its damages and its harms. Now, IID's had a commitment for many years to a sort of bottom-up approach, both to learning through our research work, but also to action through the ways in which our work um, in terms of knowledge also supports local actors to take action for their own empowerment and development and building their own resilience. Um, this has gone beyond the climate space and started in many ways with work that IID was involved with, with social movements, particularly in the urban space. Um, but we're here to talk particularly about locally led adaptation action um, and the importance of these principles. So just to talk through some of the principles and why they're so important. It's important to take action at the local level wherever possible. It's important also to get finance, to get money where it matters, to get finance to communities so they can take their own decisions about what they need to do in the face of the changing climate and the way it's impacting them. So that's about devolving decision making to the, the right level, which in many cases is the local level. It's also really critically important in doing this work that you are aware of and address structural inequalities, those factors in the local power structures that make uh, the poorest people unable to get their voices heard and to get action taken which reflects their needs. It's also about providing patient finance and providing it in a way which empowers people and allows them to learn as they're going along. And also about ensuring transparency and accountability and many other things as well, including bringing enhanced knowledge about climate risk and resilience to all levels, including the local level, including all levels in the policy systems that affect local communities struggling with these issues. So we want to do what we can to enhance the principles, to make them work, to make them really effective. And that's about having a commitment to take them forward in our work as a research institute, deeply committed to bottom up action. But it's also about sharing what we learn in the process of doing that with others to sort of lift the level of practice across the board. The final point I want to make is that doing this isn't easy. It's not just a question of saying, oh, we've got these principles, we've got it covered. You don't need to think about this again. It's really difficult to take this work forward in an effective way at the local level. You need to understand the power structures, the local context in which you're operating. And without doing that, um, you're not going to be able to empower the people who need to be empowered in the process to get money where it matters, but also to hear the voices that we need to hear in setting the priorities for local adaptation action. So I'm delighted to be emphasizing, just to finish, IID's deep commitment to this process, to learning what we learn from doing it and to sharing that with others.